Hello everybody and welcome back to Bizarre Repairs and Reviews. So we got a really cool important video for you. So today on today's video we're going to be showing you how to clone and expand an Intel NUC hard drive from a 1 terabyte to a 2 terabyte hard drive. And um, why would we want to do this? This is because um, myself along with a lot of people who uh, built these DAP node um, validators, uh, Ethereum validators early on only had one terabyte of storage when I should have put in two from the start so this video is going to show you how to clone and expand uh, the file system that way you don't have to uh, rebuild it from scratch um, this did not come from me this came from a guy an awesome guy named Dylan on the DAP node forms so pretty much everything I'm just highlighting there is from him this did not come from me now before we do this I want to take you guys into the DAP node screen right under system and under hardware and there's something called automatic expansion automatic and manual for LVM if you have a newer DAP node system all you need to do is this and it will expand your um, storage system just install an additional SSD or a external hard drive and then come in here and it'll um, expand your uh, storage space for you automatically but I don't have that. I have an older one. Actually, I have two of them, and both of them did not work. So one other thing you want to do before we do this is swing on over and do your Docker updates like you're seeing uh, I'm doing there. Um, sorry if I'm going too fast, but uh, you can always rewind the video. So just make sure your Docker is updated as well, and if the LVM system expansion did not work, then you're going to be doing what I'm doing. So just go ahead and power off the system under the power menu okay so first things first we're gonna be using clonezilla which is a really cool software for uh, cloning hard drives and SSDs so I'm just kinda of going through um, what Dylan wrote on the DAP node forms here and I'll put a link in the description for this so you can go um, follow that um, word for word Okay, so I'm just uh, highlighting here that we're going to swing over to Clonezilla and download uh, the software. So just go to the left there and hit download. Then you want to grab the stable version 3.3018. Uh, AMD is fine. File type, switch it to ISO. And repository, leave it on auto, that's fine. And then go ahead and start the download process. While that's downloading, you want to download another piece of software uh, that I use called Rufus. You can use any one of your choice, but this is the one I use. So swing over, download that, and get it open. Okay, then once Clonezilla has downloaded and you have Rufus open, you can just uh, go ahead and open it. And then you're just going to want to point, uh, or, I'm sorry, install, put your uh, flash drive in because you will be creating a bootable uh, flash drive. So put that in, point it at that, and then under the select key, uh, point it at the ISO file that you just downloaded for Clonezilla. And then everything else should be fine. And then just go ahead and hit start and wait for it to complete. And when that's done, you will have a bootable clonezilla USB drive that you can use to clone the DAP node. Okay, and once you have that, go ahead and remove the back panel on your DAP node. If you're going to be installing an external SSD, uh, you'll need to remove the back. If you're doing an external, you do not need to do this. Okay, so just pop open the back cover and now there's two ways you can do this I already have uh, this is not really my real one this is just a sample one for you but I already have an M.2 in there so I'm gonna be adding an SSD now if you already have an SSD you can uh, add the M.2 so this is once again just this this is just a test I did mine the other day so I didn't want to do use the same Intel NUC again alright once it's in you'll just tighten it down Alright, just like so, make sure everything's nice and tightened. 
Okay, now you're going to want to put in the bootable USB drive and then just get all the wires and everything hooked up. And you're going to want to swing over into the BIOS settings. Um, make sure you update the BIOS as well. I'm not going to go over that, but uh, you can just download the BIOS from Intel or do it from the web page. And then also you're going to want to check the boot order and make sure that the USB drive is selected as the top or you can just select it directly and let it boot from the USB drive. Save your changes, let it reboot, and it should pop up into Clonezilla just like so. And select Clonezilla Live to RAM, like the one I just did. Now let's go through the menu items here. We're going to select English, and then keep the default keyboard layout, and then click on Start Clonezilla. Then we're going to do device to device. Let that load up. And then go over to expert just below. And then we're going to select disk to local disk. Let that load. And now this is your source drive you're going to want to select. This is the drive that already has the DAP node installed. Um, once again, this is just a test. I don't even have it on this Intel NUC, so you'll have to um, select yours. Yours will be a little different. It should show one terabyte if you have one terabyte. Now the target is going to be the empty disk that you want the expanded DAP node to go on. And then when you get to this menu, just press enter. You don't need to put anything in there. And then uh, you can select the top SFSCK. And here is important, you want to select K1, create partition table proportionally. This is important so you don't have any errors. And then you can just choose to shut down when you're done. Okay, so if you follow these steps exactly how I did, you're going to be pressing enter. Make sure you're absolutely sure. It's going to go through a couple warning prompts for you, and then you can go ahead and start the cloning process. Mine took about 45 minutes to an hour. And I just want to show you guys, this was the Samsung SSD that I had bought. Uh, the Samsung 870 EO, Evo, I think it was about 179. Two terabyte, fantastic. Here's the two terabyte I was going to use, but uh, couldn't get that working. That's a whole other story. I was trying to do an M.2 to M.2 clone and it didn't work. But... If you do everything right, you will come up to this screen now and your disk usage will be all the way up to about two terabytes and you will be good to go. As you can see, my memory usage is high, so I'll probably end up uh, upgrading that as well. I hope this video helped you guys. Please like, comment, subscribe. I'll try to help you in the comments if you have any problems. See you later.